Hi, I'm Lina Mumma. In this video I'm going to show you why I never buy flowers and I never demand my husband to buy me flowers. So come with me, we are in a Trader Joe's. You can see that the flowers are wrapped in plastic, which is not compostable and you cannot easily recycle it in your curbside recycling. It looks like the flowers stand in the reusable metal buckets. But notice this black plastic bucket inside. As you can see here, Trader Joe's suggests to recycle plastic packaging. So let's go on the back of the store and see if they actually follow their own advice. What is in the recycle bin? Nothing. What is inside the trash? Mountains of the recyclable plastic. Bags, wrappers, food in plastic packaging, metal can, Almost every time I went to the back of Trader Joe, I see many flower buckets in the trash. Are they broken? No. Are they damaged? No. Are they dirty? No. I'm not sure why they throw them away, but this is a huge amount of absolutely unnecessary waste. They could easily reuse those buckets probably hundreds of times, or they could donate them to local gardeners. How to make greed and ignorance go away? Simply share the truth about cut flower industry and wasteful and destructive company practices, and support companies with eco-friendly practices, and grow your own food. Here I have about 60 buckets I collected from Trader Joe's. Every time I went there on the back, I see about 10, 12 buckets. And every location, of course, can be different. I cannot guarantee you that. Sometimes they're just on top. Sometimes you need to dig a little bit to get them. If you are shy, you might be able just to ask employees that they will collect or set aside for you. I have experience uh, talking with employees once. When I, not in Trader Joe, different store, I saw that they putting a little bit bruised fruits and vegetables in the trash and I said, what are you going to do with this? Can I take them? And they, and they said to me, no, we are not allowed to do that. So for me, it's just much easier go to on the back and see what is there. It's more, for me, it's like having fun. It's not like I'm hungry or I'm going to eat out of trash. It's just you never know what you can get there. And it's kind of quite... Uh, because I don't like shopping and buy crap. But I like to do stuff what is eco-friendly. And saving buckets from the trash for me is like saving all those plastic from the, uh, from the landfill. And I, I, feel doing, I feel good doing that because... Uh, I rather give it to somebody else who will gonna use it in gardening than they just being buried in a landfill and poison water. It's not only this kind of bucket they throw away, they throw away also this kind of and also live flowers, edible like mint, uh, oregano, thyme, a lot of basil I, I picked up but I already eat eaten all this kind of fancy buckets. So I'm gonna I'm going to plant to garden soon so all these buckets will I will be using. Right now I'm already using them, collecting food scrap in the kitchen and collecting uh, uh, liquid from the uh, compo uh, tumbler compost. I look at these buckets. Some buckets are come from Thailand, some buckets from Holland. This is fancy one from hall and you can uh, set them against your wall. So all the way from across the globe, 
just to go in a tree that George, just to hold the flowers for a little while and then dump them in the trash. This is, when I saw that first time, I nearly cried. It was so disturbing. And I just, I didn't even need those buckets and I still took it. I think I'm gonna take them and I will give to somebody who maybe grow garden or use it, or it use for any other purpose. Soon I will be growing garden, so I will use them. Like my video, please give me thumbs up and subscribe for more eco-peaceful videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. Sorry, I cut off your head a bit. Really? Is it good? Do I talk? Yeah, good? it's good. It's good. It's great. Ah, wait for this apple. Good. I'm gonna keep in one recording. I'm very so. good. Very, think... yeah. Oh, thank you. Am I like John Kohler? Well, John Kohler speaks a bit better than you, but yeah. Is it understandable? Yes, understandable. Okay.